Hey guys, it's Nina. Today I'm going to be teaching how to do more advanced animations on using VR weapons to add them to your character and to show them and make them disappear from your back into your hand. We're going to need a few tools for this, one being Blender, right here, uh, Unity, and this tool here, the Muscle Animator. We'll get back to this one in a bit when we need it. First of all, we're going to want to go to Google here and go to DeviantArt and look up sword MMDs or gun MMDs, anything like that that you want. And you're going to need to find a weapon of your choice that you want to use. I have already found a weapon, Cloud's Buster Sword. I have it downloaded. So we can minimize this. Minimize this. Close that. Now, we need to open this up real quick. Okay. If any models show a pink after you've downloaded them, just go to options up here, go to name encoding, and do Japanese, and then export it to your desktop here. This should fix any models that come up purple, just in case anyone has that problem for anything. Now we need to go into Blender here, import desktop, and it is called Buster Sword. Yeah, I just import the model. There it is on the ground. Fix it. Okay, looks good. Sorry about this. We don't need any of this for the weapons. Now we're gonna want to translate anything here, just in case. Okay. Now we're gonna want to export it. Now you can either export it this way. Uh, I prefer to export it as an OBJ file, right here. This way, your character won't be invisible in the mirror, only the weapon will be. In, when you pull it out in your hand, so export it as an OBJ. Put it into the Buster Sword file, export. Close this down now. You only need this file here, and Unity. So, let's drag this out a bit. Let's take the sword, drop it in by here. Okay, now we have the Buster Sword. Now, to get this tool here that we will need in a bit, Muscle Animator, you can get it off the Discord here for free on the Lolly Army, or you can get it off me, or I think the alternative is you have to buy it from the Unity Store. So, I guess get it off us, it'd be a lot easier. So, just drop and drag like usual. Import it in. We'll come back to using this in a bit once we set up the animation. Okay. Make this bigger again. Alright, here's our model. Now, we're going to want to go to the armature here. Hips, and we're going to want to go to spine, chest. Now, it can be left shoulder or right shoulder. It doesn't really matter which one you want to put the weapon on. Let's put it on the left wrist. You're going to want to go in here. You're going to want to go... You're going to want to set it to generic. Apply. Uh, let's check the materials real quick. Okay. It's OP. Alright, we can change that a bit if we don't like it. Now, we take this. Drop and drag onto the left wrist. Now you're gonna have a very big buster sword right now. Don't worry about that, we can scale it down. So just go to here and find a scale that works. Okay, we're gonna have to go a lot smaller, it looks like, yeah. Let's see, uh, 05, 0 0.05. It's a little bit too big. Let's try three. Okay, maybe not. One. This is always the fun part of it, guys. Trying to scale it down correctly. Mm. It's a bit smaller than what Cloud would use, but it will do for now. Don't worry about the positioning in the hands for here right now. We can fix this after. Right now. We're going to want to make a duplicate in a second, but 
if you want this to be on the back, like on her back here, or at your model's back, it's just a simple factor of finding the spine here, collecting the weapon, dropping and dragging it, boom, there we go. Now we just need to copy the scale of the one in the hand, so 0 0.01. Okay, there we are. So now we just need to position it. So we're going to use the rotation tool here. Flip it like so. Get it straight down. Drag it back a bit. Raise it up. All right. Now we can position this a lot better. Okay. Make sure it looks all right. Okay. Now just reposition it to the way you want it by here. Because this is what people are going to see on your is going to see on your back. So like so. Looks okay. It's not clipping with the floor. It's not clipping with the body. Nope. Hidden in the hair. Okay, good. Now, here we're going to want to make a duplicate. We're going to want to close this down. Press Control D on the model. And you'll have your duplicate. Select this one. Select this little checkbox here. Hide the first model. Now we have the duplicate open. Now, in here is where we're going to want to set up the animation for the sword. So, we're going to want to drop down. Go to the spine. Go to the left shoulder. Here we go. Wrist. Okay, here it is. Untitled. This is our sword. Now we're going to set up the animation. This is fairly straightforward, but at the same time, you know, complicated if it's your first time doing it. So you're going to want to go into animation tab by here. And you want to going to select your left wrist. Okay guys, once you've got it all set up, you're going to want to go to Create New by right here. You're going to want to name it uh, Sword. Okay, now once you've selected, you're going to zoom out here. Uh, about there will do. Now you want to go to Add Properties, Armature, Hips, Spine, Chest, Left shoulder, left arm, left elbow, left wrist, and in here you're going to want to look for your sword, untitled. I would recommend naming this the weapon so it's less confusing. Now select it as active, okay. Now this should be at one minute, yes, okay. Now we need to drop it down all the way here to about here. Now zoom back in. Until we get to the one minute mark. One second mark, sorry. It is. Now we have two here. We have the sword. Oh, we just move between them. There are. Now she'll go sit into the floor. Now here is we are gonna want to deselect one like select deselect the weapon. So we're gonna want to show the weapon to show up at one minute. So we click it off by here disappears then when we trigger it it shows up in our hand now if you want the sword on your back to disappear as you pull it out in vr it's just a simple matter of adding a property going back into here going to your spine where you've placed the weapon before untitled that it has activated all right now we have the sword here this is the second one. This one doesn't matter. You can just do this. Make sure that these are both clicked off so the sword will di like disappear permanently as soon as you activate this. Because it will be mapped to the same trigger that you use. Because the sword in your back will always be set to active. Okay, so now that's that finished. We can go back into the project folder here. And here's our animation. 
take it into assets like so okay now we can close this down hide this model select this model okay now you're going to want to hide this weapon well we don't have to hide it yet we can hide it after first of all we're going to want to go to assets now you're going to want to make sure loop is off so it works then you want to go to your baked in file from the previous tutorial i told you on how to do custom animations overrides and you're going to want to place this as one of your emotes like place it as mm, one of your hand gestures here let's go with handgun i'll put it there now when you do a handgun uh, emote it should show up in your hand now the part we're gonna have to do here is setting up the positioning of the sword in the hand uh, this can be done through well see here the best way to show you would be to sh like do it this way let's see animation made now we're going to want to look for the sword one here there it is sword okay now we're going to want to disable this for now oh wait no not the model whoops my bad going to want to disable the sword in the hand like so okay now Gonna wanna go back to the main model here. Animation, sword. Oh, no mind this anime salute, sword. Okay. Now don't worry about her sinking into the floor like this, you can fix this after. Now, you see how the sword on her back disappears? That's what we want. So here we go. We're gonna wanna need to go to the sword. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see, it's cloud to bust the sword. He normally holds it the opposite direction, I believe. So, like that, I believe. Okay. Now you're going to need to position it properly into the hand here. So it works better with the muscle animation. So it's going to take a lot of repositioning right here. Okay, here we go. This is the longest part of doing this, guys, so don't worry about it, okay? Might be a bit dull and dry on this part, so I apologize. Okay, let's see. Let's turn it a bit more. Okay. And then let's slot it in here. How does that look? Ah, oh, looks okay. I'll do for now because you know not really doing anything amazing here with it all right now just disable it and go back to your main character here go to animations and make sure it works see that it disappears off her back and reappears in her hand okay now we're going to want to play with the muscle animation to make it look like she's holding it properly here. So you're going to want to go to the window up here and you're going to want to go to this muscle animation editor from the start where we installed the muscle animation editor tool. Click on it. Now you'll have all these little dots show up. These are, well, the best way to describe it is like these are little keyframes to do it like for animating the muscles. So we're going to want to click on the left wrist and we're going to click left fingers, add all. Now I've just added a bunch of fingers to the left wrist here. Now this requires a lot of like moving the camera around to get it perfect. Though it looks like originally from her hand positioning it's not too bad so we won't have to do much. Uh, each one of these sliders here controls the fingers and their positioning. So if we were to move this one. It moves it forward or backwards so we could position the finger like this and then move this one out a bit and then move it downwards this is the problem with unity's camera system right now here we go all right 
Now we have, looks like she's holding a sword. Now, you can play with these a bit more to get like the perfect hold on the weapon. Let me just speed through this really quickly here. This can be like, you know, as nice as you want it or as ugly as you want it to be. Just depends on your preference really. I know it take a lot longer on this, but since this is a tutorial video, I don't want to like, you know, hold you guys back here. Alright, so there we are. We have a hole in the weapon, just like we want. Now, we're going to want to close this down. And we're going to want to look at this. Okay, it's all there. It's all perfect. Scroll back up. Now, we're going to want to disable the weapon. Okay, it's all marked disabled. Nice, good. Okay. Now, you're going to need to put her into an animation pose, so she's not like this. Like, otherwise, she won't be able to upload if she's in the floor like this. Now, there is a, a slight warning with putting weapons on your characters. Like, attaching them to your body or hierarchy will, like, add more polys to your character, basically. So, depending on how many polys your weapon is, you need to, like, count that towards upload so you want it to go back to normal just if you have an idle animation you can like set it to like made and just have it go like this or for instance you know uh, oh make sure this is ticked as well otherwise you will go in not working correctly you can also just go back to t pose Let's see uh, t pose here Play, boom. Uh, now, when you're uploading, uh, okay, good. She's under, just under, my dude. All right, now she might sink into the floor again. I want. Is that selected? Uh, Ah, the joys of this ticket forever. Okay, it's selected. Good. Let's check back in the scene. Okay, she's still in T-pose mode. Okay, that's what you want. So I'd recommend putting her back into avatar control T-pose mode. And you should be good to go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just upload it now and it should work. If you have any problems with the tutorial or following it, feel free to message me and I will talk you through it and help you one-on-one. -on -one. Alright guys, that's all. Nina out. Peace.